Good morning, Grace Church. Um, happy Wednesday. It's a, a new week, it's a new day, and it's time for another devotion. And as you can tell, I'm here in a very familiar location to a lot of us. Um, it has been many, many months since this gym has been used. Um, and it's, I feel like this week in particular, a lot of life has just continued on and it's been hitting me that we are almost um, into a new month of this pandemic and things are looking a little bit different. There's been hope that's been coming, but I've just been feeling very dry, very, um, I've been feeling the weight of this. And I think even our church family this week in particular seems like everything is going on and it just seems like a very heavy week, both spiritually, emotionally, mentally, like it just seems like a heavy week. And so, um, I just wanted to share with you guys some things that the Lord has been teaching me in the past, um, 24 hours, I guess, but also, um, just the encouragement that he's given me from his word. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to share that with you guys today, hoping that we can just all be strengthened and unified together in order that we might be able to um, just worship him with our whole hearts. So back at the beginning of this whole pandemic, I um, my first devotion that I shared was about identity and finding our identity in Christ. And this was because um, a lot of my jobs looked different. So I am the director of a youth center, but my youth center hasn't been open since March. I'm also um, a waitress at the Maid's Cottage, but the Maid's Cottage restaurant where you eat hasn't been open, so I haven't been waitressing for months. I also am the worship director here, but that's kind of sta been the only job that stayed the same. But I realized how much of my identity was in me being a worship director or even me going to camps and speaking. I was supposed to speak at two different camps this summer, and I was so looking forward to that and being able to just share God with the kids, but those both got canceled, and so um, I think just going through the summer and it being like a very new, very different kind of summer has just been challenging me, and um, it's been difficult because I just feel like my worth and my identity has been shaken. But I don't think that I have um, regrounded my identity or rebuilt my identity in the Lord um, to, properly. I know at the beginning I was trying to, and I was like, Lord, okay, I know that my identity is in you, but I think now reflecting back on these past six months, I feel like I, I haven't been doing that well, and I've now been feeling the weight of that. And I think that I've been re feeling really convicted of not spending as much time with the Lord as I know I need. And I've been trying to, it's the classic, trying to fill all the God, um, like the fill, filling the spot in my heart with everything other than God when I know that God is really the one who will, who will fill me and who will satisfy me. Um, but I've just, I think that I've just been in a routine of not, of not allowing God to satisfy me. And I've just been feeling the weight of that because it's so easy to get caught up in the everyday routine or, um, or even like being in community, but it's not necessarily God given or like God glorifying community. Like I've been seeing people at church on Sundays now who have been more involved with worship, which has been so great, but we don't really sit down and say, what's God been teaching you? Like we come together for a purpose to glorify the Lord and we do that faithfully, but it's not, it's not, um, it's not necessarily like, um, I guess, faith building community. So I've been super grateful for just the people that God has put in my life and the small groups that I'm a part of um, in order to just grow uh, together with him and to challenge me. But I just know that I've been feeling really down on myself too because of the, the lack of um, consistency that I've had with the Lord. Now, don't get me wrong, I still love the Lord and I still spend time with him, but I've just been feeling the weight of not spending enough time with him. And on Sunday, I shared um, as a benediction Colossians 3, 16 and 17. And as soon as I shared it, I read it and I was like, oh, that was a really good verse. And then I read it over again and I was like, oh, I don't do this very well. And I just immediately felt like I was like, okay, Lord, this week I vow to spend more time with you and really to cherish and prioritize my relationship with the Lord. Because I know sometimes... It, like the analogy is it gets put on the back burner and sometimes that does happen it's still boiling and potentially it's still like cooking but it's not like on the front burner 
I don't fully understand that analogy, but you know what I mean. Anyways, so Colossians 3, 16 and 17 say this, Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, teaching and admonishing one another in all wisdom, singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs with thankfulness in your hearts to God. And whatever you do in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, giving thanks to God the Father through him. And so I don't know about you guys, but I, I just feel like this pandemic, especially this week, has just been weighing heavy on me. And I just need to let the word of Christ dwell in me richly. And I just I think that that's a very practical thing that we can do. And I know it's so easy to um, wake up in the morning and be like, OK, I'm going to spend time with the Lord. But then you just snooze. And we we know that the Lord will help align our spirit with his and it will take us from our fleshly, um, our fleshly desires and align them with his spiritual desires. But I feel like us as humans think, oh, just five more minutes of sleep will help. That's all I'll need, whatever. And we just continue to um, not prioritize or not be diligent in our time with the Lord. And so I guess what I'm trying to say, I feel like I've rambled and I'm so sorry, but I guess what I'm trying to say is that um, in order for God to really speak to us, we have to be practicing his presence, but really be pursuing him just like he pursues us. And so I don't know if I'm completely alone in this feeling of just feeling the weight of the pandemic this week, but I just hope that we as a church body can come along one another to encourage them to run this race with endurance and just know that Christ is with us. He's right beside us. He's walking through this valley with us. And I just pray that whatever we do in word or deed, that we would all do it um, in the name and to the glory of our Lord um, and Savior, Jesus Christ. So I hope that you're encouraged by this, um, this seven-minute ramble. But I, I, uh, yeah, I just pray that we together can just continue to pursue God as he's been so faithfully pursuing us. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I love you all, and I'm so grateful for you. Um, I hope you get, yeah, okay, I'm just going to say bye. Bye. <laughs>